Legends. Nantare79 here. And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Violet Part 29. Alrighty, let's begin pressing the A button now. And here we are, back where I last saved. For those of you who watched my previous video, I spent that time finishing up another class, Battle Studies 2. And now in today's video, my, my next objective is to again take another class, so let's first go to the counter here. Good morning, Master Mandatory 79. What class would you like to take? Home Act 2, that's the only class we have left, so clicking Home Act 2. You like Home Act with Mr. Sagiwaro? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Clicking yes and click. Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. I won't. And off we go to the classroom. Here we are in the class. Put away your phones. It is time to begin class. Well, that was strict. In our last class, I believe we talked about the effects you can get from food on your picnics. You can receive meal powers and even restore HP for all the Pokémon in your party. It is a truly convenient means of healing your Pokémon. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, as I'm sure you are aware, it is not suited for use in battles when you cannot make food or when you wish to restore HP quickly. In times such as those, you should make use of healing items, such as potions, which you can purchase from Pokemarts or the school store. Healing items are immediately effective and can be used anytime that you can open your bag. I know that already, but I thought this was a cooking class. They are, however, consumed after one use. Potions restore 20 HP, Super Potions restore 60 HP, and Hyper Potions restore 120 HP. Already know that? The pricier the item, the more HP will restore. Keep in mind how much money you have when you are stocking up on items. I sure will. However, unforeseen happenings are an extricable part of traveling from place to place. Imagine, if you will, the following scenario. You find yourself with injured Pokémon, but you have... No potions! You are out of sandwich ingredients! And there are no Pokémon centers nearby! Whoa, that sounds really grim! Tell me, Master Mantaray79, what should you search for when in a perilous situation with no way to heal your Pokémon? A place with water, a teacher, items on the ground? Let's see, the answer is... Items on the ground, and click! Alright, I got it right! Perfectly correct, Master Mantaray79! I see you are well learned in survival techniques. Yeah, well, I, I try. If you see something shiny on the ground, it is actually an item that has been dropped there. You may be able to find a restorative item, such as an orange berry or potion in this way. So basically, just rely on luck. Okay. You can use the R button to send out your Pokemon to pick up items as well. And there are berries, of course. Berries, by the way, aren't like items from shops. If you let your Pokemon hold one, it will decide to eat on its own when to eat the berry during battle. Letting your Pokemon decide this timing for itself can be quite interesting. I'll be sure to remember that. At any rate, if you find yourself in need of healing, I suggest that you look around for shining items on the ground. I'll keep an eye out. If you can't find such items, there are other methods you may employ for healing your... Ah, but I see the bell demands the topic can wait. Well, guess class is over. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. Yep, see ya. And class is over, we're leaving the classroom. Here we are, back in the main entrance. Are there any more classes to take? Good morning, Master Ma Master Master 79 Hey there, and nope, no more classes. We can only revisit classes, so... I think of that, that's all the time we have today. First I want to say is, thank you to the viewers for watching today's video, and to 
please stay tuned for more videos that I plan to upload again in the near future. I also be able to show support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that I say, goodbye and see you all soon!